Hey there! In this video we'll be discussing how to turn your funnel into a website. We have a customer, maybe, or ourselves, who want to have basically a navigation, an easy way to navigate to the different pages. So we'll be discussing exactly that, how to combine both things, funnels and website, and creating a hybrid between both. So, again, what is the difference between a funnel and a website? The website, obviously, it has navigation, where the idea of a website is to navigate the visitor uh, easily to the place and the information that they want to find. And the funnel is about the, the journey, basically the flow, with one goal. If it's promoting, a, let's say, something of a product or, or sales to generate a sale or for lead generation, whatever it is, that's towards that goal specifically. And we'll be discussing basically and creating something of a hybrid where we basically combine a website and a funnel. And yeah, we call it funnel website hybrid. Basically, you have navigation again, and each of the different basically steps of your navigation can be a specific funnel. So that can work really, really well for any type of a business. So let's get deep into that and how you can actually create it very easily with the whole system and actually have a better of a website than a normal website in a way. So we're now inside one of our home funnels that we created in our previous video. Now we want to turn this into a real website, we can say. So we have our three steps, part of the funnel, you know, the contact and the thank you page, basically one goal, lead generation. But we want to make it more rich. So basically we have to add a navigation. And how do you do that? It's very easy. You can actually do it with using the blocks. You can fully customize a block and have it as a header. So you can click on add block. And actually in the footer area, we have a few headers already created. So you can click and add this block. And as you can see, it also comes with the global car as well. So you can fully modify it and you can add any type of widgets. Currently we have a text for a logo and menu for navigation plus a call to action. But you can add different things the way you want and you can actually make it even more customizable than a normal header. And again, you can play around with the paddings on the top and the bottom. And if you wish, you can also resize it. So you can make it full width and make some paddings on the sides, for example, something like this. And yeah, you can organize everything. Basically, you can split your content into columns, for example, and you can do it like this. So now we split it into three columns, so we can move the button to be there. We can have the navigation in the middle and have it again on the middle and have the logo, which in the moment is still a text widget, but you can now replace it, for example, with an actual image by just dragging and dropping an image inside. But let's keep it like this. And on the side here, we can add some something like uh, maybe we can add the social media. Why not? Let's uh, let's keep it like this and we can add maybe share and we can resize it to be smaller. And yeah, maybe just make the content in the middle as well and have it. Yeah, for the radius and make it white as well. Something like this. So now we organize our content. Again, we have some content in the middle, some content on the left and on the right side. So now we can add some more padding and that's it. We can also organize the content to be always in the center as well. And we can save changes. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that you can also have this header anywhere that you want. Basically, you can have it below this head section. This is something that you can usually, cannot usually do with a normal website. But you can now keep it here or again you can move it on the top where you can have it like this again you can fully customize your menu as well you can have one of the many different designs maybe a burger as well so you can have a burger on the side that opens up the menu on the whole page or just keep it like this the old-fashioned way uh, you can of course modify what kind of links you have maybe within the same page or into the different pages that we'll be looking into actually this example so whatever type of a header you want to create. So click on save changes and we have our header. That's it. Now, before we start adding this header into the different pages, it is good to define them as global sections. Why is this important? Because when we modify something on one page, let's say here, we want that to replicate on all the different places where we use this header. So it is really, really easy, actually. Uh, yeah, we can do it by going to the column and we can define this as the middle column of the navigation navigation 
middle and click submit now we can do some other changes and maybe we can do it like yeah some something like this we can define this column as well as navigation right and here actually we can resize it like this and define this one as navigation left so we have and defined our left right and center columns and we can click on save changes now all these columns are being defined so if we move and if we copy this whole section and we can replicate it and add it to all the different pages that we have within our website that we are just doing now so we can just adjust a bit here and there and we can click on save now we can copy it we can delete this one we can copy it and we can now start using it within our funnel basically you can add a new step let's say we want to add an about us page easy go here select the page that you want call it about us and add now you can add the header on top and just like that everything comes you can adjust the position of the elements and everything the way you want you can also add the footer at the bottom so we have footer designs as well so you can add something like whatever you wish as design and add it to the template very easy maybe something like this and you can define again here you can define this section as a global one maybe uh, footer one then define this one as footer two And define this one as footer three. And just like that, again, we define our whole header and footer. So you can copy now, and this can be your footer, which you can modify easily on all the different pages as well. So when you go and create a new page, maybe as a contact, you can add a new contact page, maybe something like this, call it contact, and just add it. To their funnel slash website and we can add our header which is global again and our footer at the bottom as you can see here we have some kind of a footer coming with this page so we can delete it and keep it like this we can click on save changes and actually the idea here is where we can do mini funnels so now we can have the contact as a mini funnel as well so you can call it contact funnel contact with section for example and you can this is just for defining this section and you can add your thank you page as well well obviously we have some kind of thank you page here that you can use as part of the flow then maybe you can do another section for let's say event and basically you want to promote some kind of an event if this in this uh, website you can go and create a new event page maybe something like this where you might want to even sell your tickets to the event so you can add your header you can add your footer at the bottom you can modify everything you know the colors to fit your needs um, and everything to, the way you want for the event and you can of course add a new section new step actually of the section for the purchase of the um, of this event for example maybe something like this purchase event purchase where people can actually buy the tickets for example then you can add a different section for something completely different and this way you can build a very very big and fully functional website with different mini funnels inside of it why it is so great because you can split test you can split test your home page with just a few click and you can see how it is converting to the other places you can add and do one click up sales and checkouts fully customizable for anything on this whole section you can do uh, lead generation as well so basically you be within one funnel you're doing mini funnels into into a website you can split text your contact page and see maybe some people might be responding better to having something different there maybe a smaller form or something like that and this way you can organize the whole content easily and and really fast and again you can add your header as well here and you can decide where you want to have a header or footer uh, on the page again you can just leave it without a header or just a header that's entirely up to you maybe something like that and click on save changes and again here we can organize what kind of pages you have inside 
So the first one, obviously, you go to Phono and select the landing page. And let's call it Home. Then we have another one, which would be maybe the About Us. Then we might want to have the event page where we'll be promoting our events and then maybe finish it with a contact a small website in this case that we can create obviously you can add sub menus by just dragging and you know dropping this way you create a drop down a sub menu of the whole event of the whole navigation and just like that we've added four pages and as you can see anything that we modify here maybe we want to modify the button maybe it's called contact us and you'll see how because we define this columns as global ones when we go to a page well actually let's just open it now if we go to their home page for example you see how you know the everything changed you know the navigation and everything has modified the contact is there the event is there and you have a you know a beautiful navigation that you can fully customize again with all these things that you want and again you can do go to the another next page when somebody submits they'll go to the next page that is part of the funnel which would be the thank you page and you can see what is the conversion how it is is working for the business when you do a store as well you can also add the store as part of the whole navigation uh, without any issues yeah the store is again is part of the whole thing and um, yeah people you can start selling as well there without any issues and you can find the store here you can see what is the url which is slash url as well so you can also add the url of the store here you can click add store and yeah let's go to all products and basically we also added the store so if you go here and click on store you'll find all the different products that you have within your you know store area so you can start selling fully with add to cart and all these things and continue with the whole checkout process as a normal e-commerce store as well very soon you'll be able to modify all the system pages like in the store and all the other 404 etc but yeah you can build a full-grown website like this with just a funnel but more powerful with the mini funnels inside and other things so basically we just created our hybrid easily and uh, yeah it works very very well again you can add your footer as well at the bottom we didn't do it here and again if you do modifications on your footer as well it, it is going to modify on all the different places as well and this is it i hope that you enjoyed it it's really easy as you can see and basically you can turn any funnel into a website as well and combine both things into one and of course if you have any questions don't hesitate and let us know happy to help you anytime